my next topic will be that the today's main topic that uh, uh, before that actually I'm, I want to go over recap my previous uh, webinar topic. So previous one actually relate to how you can apply AI blockchain to ESD investing and in, investing and financing stuff. So, so I want to just to briefly recap what I have done before. So actually the, I show demos, actually I developed all this code for myself to show what kind of the AI can bring benefit to, to uh, ESD investors. So, uh, so uh, actually the, here is a, the, the old record of the demo. So you can see what I have shown before. So I, I show about the, the, you see the ESG trend is based on text summarization. So this is the natural language processing I use to text summarize the ESG trend analysis. And also I made like a topic modeling that you have seen that the ESG knowledge may I did using the, the machine learning. And then also I, I use like a text analysis classification, ESG performance scoring and opportunity risk scoring. So actually I show that using the publicly available data like ESG reporting for some individual companies or the like a SEC document like a 10K or the stock market information like earning course or the like some other news media information or the like some of the social media information then all the public publicly available data that I can utilize and I, I, I develop my own uh, natural language processing code using the most recent topic like uh, you have seen uh, GPT and the bot model transform model and I, I show the actually show the live demo about the, how you can do do calculate the performance scoring and opportunity risk scoring. So you can see in my YouTube uh, video. And also uh, some short-term earning, like a, a link to the stock earnings and volatility analysis that I, I show you in real time about these topics. Also the greenwashing is a big problem uh, in, in, in most of the country. And recently there was a special program in South Korea about the um, a lot of the company actually boasting they are doing ESG, but actually not. This is the like a greenwashing. So the he blame a lot of the like uh, on ethnic behavior of the the boasting there like uh, like uh, they what they're doing is like ESG like management actually not. Uh, so it's a that type of the greenwashing. So I I show that there's some way that yeah, if you have a, like a text to or some other like announcement and from the some company that actually I train the my deep learning machine to understand whether it can be greenwashing or not. And then I show some like a more than 90% accuracy of the detecting greenwashing statement. And also I show the some more advanced topic that I'm going to show this topic, some, some results of this topic today about the, how you can actually scoring, performance scoring industry-wise. So actually materiality factors, how can you define? In, in later, you can see my, my uh, result from this uh, advanced ESC scoring. And then also I talk about the, uh, the fundraising, new type of fundraising. So in the company wise, you can actually, you have uh, some ESC related asset like a solar power plant or wind farm or carbon credit, you saw the carbon credit. So in any asset value, you can tokenize, right? So you, you're, you're heard about the, how you digitize and tokenize in the before in the carbon trading token yeah, in the video. So actually the, the same meaning, but actually in this case, actually you can do more advanced ways. Like if they have a unique value, then you can you can really put it in the NFT or the if you're not in the traditional token like a Bitcoin type token, like a multiple token, they are fun fungible tokens. And then and then I actually the, I have an intensive uh, course before about the, how you develop this uh, like a blockchain based DeFi platform. So actually, the, I, I, in here is uh, all information. This is two hours that intensive that uh, the webinar that I, I provide before. So here is all the information about actually how you actually can develop this kind of the platform for yourself. So, so, so 
this is one actually that the new way, new type of the fundraising or the new type of the like uh, financing based on your ESC asset. So I have talked about this topic. Okay, so that was my previous topic. And then in continuation of my previous topic, the previous topic is for the uh, like investors, like how you can like uh, evaluate your portfolio company and how AI blockchain can can have. But uh, today's topic will be like in you know like in a portfolio company uh, like itself. So how they can how how they can digitize their their business. It's they call digital transformation uh, based on AI blockchain IoT and their convergence. So um so I'm going to talk about this uh, convergence topic, but uh, this is very uh, in the depth default level, so I'm not going to go over detail. I'm not sure about how many people actually are in, in the, uh, the default level technology uh, understanding, but, um, but I could briefly talk about this one. Okay, so why you, you think about the, the convergence? Actually, the, you have seen that individually have, they can also contribute a lot in uh, ESG the digital transformation, but also they have a synergy whether you can, you can like uh, integrate uh, two or three element of this, this uh, like uh, uh, digital technology that actually synergy can, can put in there. Like uh, for example, in the old, uh, like a data life cycle. So you get the data and then you put in into your data infrastructure later than using your computing infrastructure, then you process it. And then the, what the blockchain doing is that they are trust way to share or transfer. So they, they put into like a trust in the data system. And then also you have is the AI intelligence things that the processing data for recognition autom automation and prediction communication creation. This is function of AI. So they can be as an intelligent to process your IoT data and that they can understand and recognize what your environment and what is your situation or something like that. And then it's shared in a trust way and then you keep in their privacy and cyber security through this blockchain technology. So this is the main concept that why you need to combine some or the all of this uh, technology. And then um, this is very big topic either you need to like uh, spend a lot of time actually to understand even you are the expertise in, in individually. Actually, I did this one in the last year as a research topic from funding from some Korean university. And then, and then I spent a lot of time. I, I actually, I look at the hundred books and references and try to understand. And then, and then I try to make a summarize the, what the holistic, holistic scope holistic view of this topic. And then here is the summar summarization that, for example, the AI and blockchain can combine for synergy. For example, that the uh, blockchain can have for AI for the significant ways that the, uh, the recent trend that is that um, uh, the usually, for example, deep learning, that the recent trend is that Deep learning has a problem is that the deep learning is a, like a breakfast, black box. So the, they can understand the research, but they can know about how they got the research, they, they, their problems. So, so recently there is a requirement, for example, for the, the European regulation for the privacy, like uh, GDPR require the AI should be transparent. They, they need to understand that what what kind of the decision making process actually AI can drive the research? So, for example, the, in the job marketing recently, there is a uh, like a trend in like AI, like a human resource management. So, actually, the the job interview through the AI, that they they look that there was some problem like a bias or something like that. And then and then if that happened, actually the, the, the current state of art cannot explain why, what is your criteria decided this some specific candidate. So that's uh, uh, like uh, the GDPR, the wanted to clear out. 
So they, there is a trend like explainable AI that uh, they, they, they want to track down the whole, the, the reasoning process of AI. So blockchain can is a, they can provide a transparent way to track down, trace down the, all the price of the AI. So they can provide a, like explainable AI. So also the, like uh, for the data, data for the high quality data is required for the training, the supervised learning of the AI. And then, and then in the blockchain provider, like uh, uh, some of the data marketplace to like uh, get the high quality or the export is rare. So you can, you can like uh, get an uh, expert through this uh, blockchain based decentralized like marketplace for the algorithm or expert or the, even the data. So this is a way actually it can help. So, and then here is like, uh, I summarize use case like AI expert marketplace and also uh, they can they can like if you wanted to collaborate with other institution for example in the healthcare case that there is very difficult to share data because of the personal uh, privacy matters so they can uh, securely and anonymously share data through this uh, blockchain platform so have to to like collaboration and increase like uh, their collaborability to to innovate some somewhere to share by this uh, blockchain platform. For AI perfection, so actually the, I, I already talked about some of the like uh, limitations of the problem issues with the current public blockchain. And then also AI can have that like, uh, like make a like uh, increase of uh, scalability or the, they can have the like a more like a, a robust way to to operate your system or some they can provide the more security of the blockchain or so they can they they can apply like a smart contract system or something like that so they can apply like a more transparent and then more intelligent supply chain management system can apply like this whether like a, for insurance you can have a fraud detection or something like that and then uh, they can combine uh, as uh, like more protection. So for example, that uh, uh, there is uh, like a DDoS like attack in the cybersecurity area, then the blockchain, some have a problem, AI also can have a problem, but the com in combination, they can be a very, very strong protection against uh, like a DDoS uh, type of the uh, attack here. So they can they can be like a provide like very secure like a autonomous vehicle or some other uh, area that actually the require higher protection then then you can integrate AI blockchain here and also blockchain IoT then IoT have a, a significant uh, drawback in in security cyber security and privacy issues because of this is a distributed sensor. And then usually the sensor system has a low power of computing power. So usually because sensor is very, very small, tiny, and then it needed to be uh, cheap. So they are not uh, protected enough like in a, a traditional computing system. So blockchain has to mitigate the risk by the integrate to the IoT system. And also IoT can have blockchain like a decentralized system so they can they can have to like uh, provide the credential information for blockchain. So they are uh, synergetically combine like uh, some smart home logistics and, and then also like uh, autonomous electric grid system, like uh, energy system that we are going to talk about later about the uh, like uh, natural resources and also like a uh, green energy and also like uh, this type of renewable energy that uh, they can apply this one. Also, AI can have to IoT that the IoT sensors can gather information in real time and AI for provide the intelligent analytics for the, to analyze IoT data to get the interpretation. So it's so a typical way with the smart factory or the smart one information uh, system, intelligent system they can apply. And then, and then you can combine everything. All right, so so for example, that uh, in, in the like uh, uh, free system farming is very important, uh, like irrigation system, land use. This is one topic of the how you can use your like uh, your land use and how you can 
you can make your your food supply chain more like uh, eco friendly and they can apply this as a whole combination of this and i can show you some use case later okay so uh, so i have a uh, intensive uh, like uh, a webinar before or the some like a personal like uh, on face like a face to face uh seminar i provide more than 10 hours for this topic so i i include my reference in here so you can look at it for details and then here is something that actually i developed so here is a one example the how ai blockchain system can integrate for the medical data sharing diagnostics. So this is our like big data platform. So this is uh, we develop that the most like uh, advanced uh, technology in, in in data system, and then and then integrate with this image data with the machine learning. So what they're doing is that they they try to find out the, if this is unknown image. And then they try to find out the most similar ones. So they measure distance and then they call content space, content space image retrievers. That means that the, this has a contents, previous existing content. So they know, but if they are similar, and then this image it has all contents like what kind of symptom, how your treatment. So this can be used at application. So, and then this is another one that actually uh, same database in in the big data platform that you uh, put into your data in this case is x-ray data so you can you can uh, like put in your x-ray data and then and then all the content with uh, the existing data so for example you have some like x-ray data of the if you have uh, infected by the COVID-19 and then there will be the like uh, progress of your image x-ray image over your COVID-19 infections. So, so the, if you have a like unknown X-ray image, then you can you can compare with your unknown image with the using image, and then you can you can find out what is the status of the the progress of the, your infection or the what with the, the different type of the like a variation of the COVID-19 or something like that that can be used in in diagnosis of this one. Same thing as in your eye data. So they look at your X-ray image and then try to find the most similar one. And then you can you can want to look at your content with with this known data. Okay. So the, how they can use it? So you want to like uh, collaborate with other other like a uh, hospital or so some emergency system. And then and then you want to share in you know using blockchain. So actually, the, you can share your data with other institution through this blockchain. So they they can share anonymously. So so you you all your data is in your database. So they put into your the location of your data and then provide access allowance to other system. And then all the information is recorded in your blockchain and tracked down. And then also you like uh, uh, like uh, want to know more like a. Uh, provide ownership or the use uh, allowance and then you can like uh, like cancel that uh, that situation so this is a way actually that uh, collaborate with other institutions using machine learning but also share the data to to increase like a productivity innovation using this uh, AI and blockchain uh, combination. Okay, this is another the example that what we did. So this is the one actually I developed that the, the token system based on hyperledger fabric. This is a private blockchain. Actually, the, the reason is that we want to apply this to supply chain management. And then in the supply chain management, actually, you know on you all the participants is known. So actually, you you don't need the public blockchain. So actually, I use uh, uh, hyperledger fabric, but because of hyperledger fabric, it does not require any like a token, a natural token, because a token can be used uh, used like uh, for incentive for the pub public chain to operate, like uh, to protect against the malicious malicious participant. But in this case, it does not have 
that you know interesting tokens. So actually, I developed the token for this hyperledger family, and then and then here is the system that they can operate your the token system on the computer and a mobile uh, system, and and then and generate tokens and then put in the wallet and then can transact over the 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 your blockchain system. And then this is the one actually the this is AI this emotion AI they actually they communicate with you and they know about your emotion and then and then actually they recognize your emotion and then you communicate with your your voice and then and then it got the like uh, what kind of the recommendation it would be beneficial to you like recommend a good restaurant or the good uh, like a shopping or something like that. And then and then combine them actually this is actual e-commerce system that uh if you want to buy some product and then chatbot that uh, communicate with you and then and then and then know about what your intention and then they recommended something and then they help you to to finish up your payment and then and then finally that you're what you have uh have a like a uh, like a buy it and, and then they will provide you like shipment and then payment, everything in the online, you can do that in combination of AI and blockchain and cryptocurrency here. Here is the one actually I tried last year, but because of COVID-19 outbreak, so it stopped. But this is the one actually the, in the in the in the lot of the state actually the in even the the federal government the, the medical marijuana is legal now. So this is uh, uh, some way to like uh, like online e-commerce for and supply chain uh, traceability of this marijuana. So this uh, uh, this is the one I, I developed that uh, including with all the component I developed and then with the supply chain visibility from the product of the like uh, Mariana product to, to the, the customers and the payment actually. And here is the one thing the calculate taxes for the California actually this this was to try it in California. And then you can buy it and then in online and pay it. And then, and then there is a, like a verification system and then they put in the credential and the supply chain management and actually all things can apply with the AI chatbot can apply. This is a way to actually, to actually you can apply in, in here. And then also I, I did the, like a pattern for the uh, convergence of technology. And I, I, I noticed that the, uh, I look at the, in the previously AI blockchain IoT for worldwide. I look at the, around the, like one hundred thousand patterns, and I found that the, around the, like uh, one thousand. So, so convergence is not uh, like a mainstream now, but there I found that around the one percent of the total innovation, and most recently, because uh, here you see that most recently that there is a uh, activities to to combine like a one or two of this uh, individual technology. So I confirm that I, and here is a one summary that I made uh, like uh, the, the reason that I, I prefer using the, the pattern is that I, I can look at the uh, technical detail about the, how I can, how they use case and how they can implement. So I, I, I here is uh, some example that I briefly go over this one that, uh, For example, that uh, from pattern information, I, I was a federate learning is that, uh, for example, uh, if you want to collaborate with many like uh, participant, then uh, federate learning have uh, some issue with the uh, privacy. Is that if you want to share your personal data, will be a problem. So what they're doing is actually the in the you in your local site, you train your local machine learning, and then you only. Uh, provide you some machine learning parameters. So actually the, nobody can track down what kind of data you, you use. And then they combine everything and then, and, then, uh, and then do another training for the global training and then, and then and pass it to the individual and then they retrain again. So they collaborate away and the privacy preserving way. And then, and then in the federate learning actually the, they are not uh, enough for the privacy issues. So AI can combine with the blockchain 
to provide the privacy preserving federated learning directory. This one has uh, several initiatives, including Intel collaborate the nine US and Canada and, and UK uh, like uh, university to, to improve this like a technology and innovate new technology in this space. So this will be the one hot topic in the healthcare doing some collaboration in AI. And another topic that I want to briefly talk about is uh, this is so you already see, can see that like a marketplace, like uh, you can you can place like uh, your data and algorithm or expertise that uh, the trade in, in through the blockchain decentralized system. And also that I want to explain like uh, trustworthy AI that this is an issue that uh, like a uh, to, to, to make a explainable AI or the unbiased AI that, that have by the blockchain can integrate AI and IoT system providing trustworthy AI system here. And also here is a um, edge computing application. So here is a typical example that I talk of a recent trend in IoT is uh, integrated with the 5Z. So, oh, okay, before that, actually, this is a predictive uh, maintenance. This is very important to, if you want to like a, to like a saving your energy, your system or something like that, you, you want to manage your renewable energy system. And then, and then the, the cost efficient way is to predict something, what will happen using your AI predict, predictability. And then in advance, before they have a outbreak of the, like a something happened that, they can fix something in, in advance. This is called predictive uh, maintenance is a hot topic in here. And then also they can apply the car sharing system here. And then also uh, they can like uh, manage your uh, connected vehicles with the autonomous vehicle. Here is like a 5 is based AI blockchain IoT edge computing system that can fly. So here is all the information actually I got from pattern analysis. So this is the beauty of pattern analysis is that it, it this is open, right? So you can know about the, actually the open secret about innovation. So this, this one, and I actually, I prefer this, this one. So here is a reference. So if you are interested, you can look at it. Okay, so, and then how they actually, the, the blockchain uh, AI blockchain IoT components can, can be used in the ESG digital transformation. So ESG matter, you understand. Digital transformation means that the using technology digitize your ESG management or your ESG whatever topic. And then, and then one way to like employing your technology is uh, this one, AI, blockchain, IoT, and their convergence. So this is topic. So, so here is also, I spend a lot of time to look at the literature search and then also I use a patent that uh, I did a uh, patent is also for that. And then here is the one actually the patent. So I actually look at the same data. I found that a lot, like a 625 published patent actually related to ESC topic. So this model actually the, what I use is uh, using machine learning. So same thing. So uh, use a topping modeling and then, and then look at the, 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 text analytics and then look at the content of the each patent. I have a database and then look at the, what they are related to some specific topics. So what I found is the most innovation pattern wise, the pattern you apply pattern means that there is a technical innovation related to ES transformation that mostly are related to like a business relation because of the like a data privacy and cybersecurity issue. They are, they are related to the corporate like a business relationship. So the in three technologies actually apply the majority in the cybersecurity and privacy and, and otherwise the like climate change that they are really like uh, how you reduce your carbon footprint or something like that. That topic actually mostly common that actually that uh, this trend will be more and more and more. So this is one actually that I'm interested in that uh, whether I can use this index like uh, this uh, digital transformation index can be used as another space, another dimension of to, to measure the performance objectively. This is actually the, my main motivation doing the, this kind of research. 
for doing the actually I summarize all aspect of the like how they AI blockchain IoT contribute to ESG digital transformation. So I summarize it. So I I, I already put in in the in my uh, like a uh, uh, slide share space. So you can look at it later for details. For example, that uh, I categorize all the main topic like uh, climate change. So greenhouse gas emission control monitoring, practicing mitigating and adapting. So for this topic. Then I, I look at the each individual pattern and then and then I'm Googling about the, some literature or the papers or some information. And then I, I summarize all like a corporate industrial carbon for thing the predicting using machine learning or something like that. So I summarize everything here. For example, blockchain, you, you already seen that uh, like a carbon like a credit. Uh, trading system also they can use like a di decentralized platform for tracking measuring the carbon for free or something like that or the iot case they can collect the feed into ai for the like uh, some carbon frame and then also here is a, a big topic is how actually the 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 way actually the reduce carbon emission is to reduce your energy consumption so, so make a most energy efficient system, like uh, for, for example, your buildings or your facility, transportation, asset infrastructure, whatever. So you can do that. For example, the, uh, like uh, the data center, they spend a lot of electricity and then for example, dim mine, and then they actually uh, employing some like a dim learning, reinforcement learning to make uh, the efficient to save around 40% of the data, their data center all over the world. So this is one example that uh, reducing carbon footprint. Also, for example, that, that they can like uh, uh, like manage your like a renewable energy system. So they can, the issue with the renewable system is the, it's very difficult to forecast the, like uh, like a demand or the production of the, the renewable energy so they can have them to like a forecast and then they can manage your renewable energy system and then also like uh, they can blockchain also like have them to like a uh, like a transaction of the power system uh for your renewable system or here is like a predictive maintenance i will talk about or your how you do your your system also, they can uh, like uh, contribute to like a different uh, station management. So, for example, the video sound analytics they put in your your sensors in IoT sensor and and then like image data or the like uh, sound data they can analyze it and whether they are what the status of police like whether there is a fire or there's some timber like uh, on on like a lawful like a timber like a like uh, you, you uh, there, this is one signal of the problem, like a uh, timbers that uh, uh, tracking system. So like uh, illegal timber trade, like uh, here is a blockchain advantage where the sensors have to this analytics and the pollution that the air quality pollution, pollutant predictions. So they can then look at the, like uh, what kind of pollutant will be in your air system. And then also here is like a waste is a very, very like a significant problem in in uh, in the environment issues. And then I already mentioned that the circular uh, economy is about how you can make your like uh, your way to changing your like a product system to like a uh, late waste, uh, like a problem, an environmental problem. And then, and then how you can you can consider like a uh, wastewater, how you can automatically treat and then also how you can like a sorting like a like a how you can make your recycling system automatically here is a natural resources to, in the is they can use in the water management like water quality management and then also they can like optimize the water supply chain and the smart irrigation system this is one thing that the water management also relate to like a smart farming so so like a precision agriculture is a very good topic very hot topic that relate to this environmental issue that how, how you can how you can make a crop 
and then without any like a significant contribution of the water use and then contribute to pollution was so agriculture is the old thing that you can you can apply your all this ai blockchain iot technology to make this more like a like a uh, environment friendly and especially the water management they can contribute with some irrigation system they can also use a biodiversity uh, and then land use case here for social responsibility that they can uh, contribute to like uh, for example that they can like a community support and then education training program for job creation they can they contribute ai like a teachers education system and also they can like a safety of your community like uh, you can monitor like whether there is a crime or not so they can contribute to your society and the human cares you can contribute like human light -like management like uh, for example a bias free ai trust free ai and then also uh, there is like a monitoring labor exploitation for example that the child labor in some some uh, uh, underdeveloped country in the chief labor force and the youth exploiting their chief labor force and then this will be the more like uh, in human rights matters like a uh, counter harassment or uh, something like that so actually i summarize in here but uh, i this is all detailed cases i have so so my next uh, step will be to how how i can make this summarized more detail and then uh, put into my book that I, I already mentioned, I want to contribute to is my proposed Ashford book about the technology part with my new frontier technology. So I'm, I'm thinking of having in mind how I can put this whole detail information in as use case and technical detail and, and then some insight in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a complete sentence way to provide information. And there was a workforce management, like video, uh, you mentioned that they're uh, like emotional AI, right? the workers, they can uh, recognize the emotion of the worker. And then and then they also like uh, prevent injuries, like workplace health and safety. And then they also like, uh, for example, that the worker status that they can monitor it and then, and then put in the more safe and, and then and the health workplace environment. Also, like uh, uh, human resource management, and how you can match with uh, your skill set with your task, so they can provide this system using machine learning, and also like a uh, business relationship, the customer care that they can get involved in the intelligent purchasing delivery return system, and then also they they provide uh, like a quality inspection and and also like a liability issues that can handle it. And then partners care that uh, you can you can think of like uh, uh, your supply chain management or the risk with the supply chain vendor management or the resilient supply chain management transparent visibility or the, your supply chain monitoring and privacy cyber security issue is a big issue that I, I already mentioned I'm going to have a separate webinar only for this one, because I, you see that GDPR issue and then all kinds of cyber issues like uh, malware and then ransomware and then and the cyber security attack, all things that actually they can handle this problem. And then in corporate governance that how you actually the AS is auditing, supervision, decision making for executive board of directors. This is one way to contribute. And then also like a stakeholder engagement, you can have a secure, transparent, proxy body system using blockchain. And then code of conduct, and you can they can like a legal advisor for having legal regulatory interpretation. Also, this space actually, I'm 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 thinking about uh for the next topic that I'm a, a New York attorney, so I, I I know that there are a lot of the legal and then. Uh, like compulsory, like a compliance issue with the ESG and legal matters. I'm thinking about summarize this part and, and using my legal knowledge, understanding and knowledge. So this will be a, another topic that I'm, I'm thinking about. And then also here is like ethnic conduct, like uh, some anti-bribery and uh, anti-corruption compliance. This will be the one, uh, for example, in the you are doing in the global business, like uh, in the overseas business. And then also that I, I know that this topic will be the most concerned with uh, like uh, international, like uh, UN and WF stuff. So pattern analysis, 
So I, I also have some example of the, how the actually the use case for this one. So for example, the reducing carbon for free, like in this case, AI and IoT can, and then also increasing renewable energy use, and then also waste management and workplace workforce management in social human care, and there was a cyber security and corporate governance. I have uh, some specific example here. So I briefly go over uh, this one. Here is one thing that the reducing carbon for friends. So here is a, is a building system is for example that uh, here is an around 39, 39, around 40% of the like energy related carbon footprint is great building, you know that? So building, so you, if you manage like a building is a great like a reduction in, in the uh, greenhouse gas emission. So here is a many examples that I found that the using AI and IoT to, to reduce your carbon footprint. So this is a specific example that actually I share already in my slide share. So you can you can look at the detail later. And another is how you can actually the like a geo geo carbon energy source like uh, some renewable wind and and then and the solar power. So so actually that uh, the here is some I I put into some pattern that actually they how they can use in that uh, system so blockchain system here. Also, weather, uh, water man waste management. So, how you can like automatically detecting, then classify your like uh, waste, and then and then put into your like encouraging your way to like uh, recycling your your product. Uh, this is the one example, and then also here is one actually the workforce workforce management. Actually, here is a, like a resource allocation advisor that the effective efficient allocation human resources, for example, that the matching of your employee skill set to the needs of the requirement of a particular task. So this is one I can one I can use it. And then also here is a, a cyber security that uh, I'm going to talk about detail, but you, they can use in the like uh, detecting like uh, intrusion and then also like uh, they detecting malware and other like a uh, ransomware protecting that. I'm, I actually, I, I have a two uh, uh, like a uh, uh, development actually, I develop that relate to cyber security and I'm going to show in the next uh, webinar about uh, how you can uh, protect against the malware. And then I also, I'm going to show the most innovative cybersecurity solution to, to protect your digital infrastructure, like a data center, like a server or something like that in here. So I'm going to talk about it later. So in, in more in, the, in the, my next webinar for this topic. And then also about the corporate governance, the blockchain can using the proxy voting system. So this is the topic that you can use it and, and many other topics actually that you can, you can find out in, in AI blockchain and IoT application for your digital transformation using your uh, pattern information. Okay. And then my final topic that I can finish up, I, I, I left the 15 minutes. And then after that, you can free to go, or you can you can uh, have a like a discussion or Q and A time with me. So in the last fifteen minutes, uh, this is uh, actually the, my main issue. Actually, the why I think about ESG digital transformation and then how uh, they can apply to the most advanced technology is that I already mentioned there is no standard actually and then no compulsory. So it's a voluntary and then there is a, like a greenwashing and then, and then many different uh, like uh, uh, organization provide some index or the performance measure or something like that. But still, uh, it's not enough, and, and it's very confusing. Also, uh, recent trend is that uh, they want to find out the best interest rather than the, the until now that the most of the the way to you do like investment, like uh, impact investment or the socialist, but they like a negative screen, so they exclude some company bad behavior rather than selecting the best best type of the the crack. 
So my interest is how I can find out the, the, the other way to find a really like a high quality, high performance company to invest. And then also company itself to uh, like uh, self-evaluate uh, their current state of the ESG management through this ESG digital transformation. So this is the one that I motivate to this one and it, it is still going on. Okay, so this is the one actually the ES performance scoring I use my machine learning that I develop. So this is a maturity comparison across industry. So maturity means that there's a different industry have a different priority. That means that the, for example, that the oil and gas industry will be heavily focused on like a pollution or something, or you're in some uh, like a provide a lot, lot of waste and then you will be put into there. So, so different priority means that different um, materiality that you, you consider in the, your ESG management and ESG digital transformation. So actually I, I gathered the information uh, based on actually, this is all information based on their own ESG reporting. So this is voluntary, but anyway, that uh, uh, I just use this one, then I, I try to have uh, like a, uh, they classify them as a different area that I, 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 I explained you before in, in my uh, ESG knowledge map. So I, I change, uh, like a categorize them as a, a 10 using my machine learning algorithm. And then, and then, and then they pro provide some different, the, the relative measure of the inside of the, their industry. Also important thing is that the, this number, so, so every the accumulated number, this one will be have a different characteristic, I mean, different materiality in different uh, industry. That's uh, what I have. So I, I have this one, like I, I will let this, I published this one so you can look at it later about this one. So here is the uh, information that I look at the, like for example, the automotive industry or chemical industry. So for example, the automotive industry, they, they about is human care. Why? Because of their, their factory environment, they care about the, like for example, that the, like a walk of safety health is their main issue. And then I, I also found that the, in any other topic that mostly they, they, they're bearing this priority, but this e climate change is the, uh, the, in every industry, this is the, uh, one of the top, like a uh, priority. And otherwise, uh, the, it, depending on their industry and business characteristic, this priority maturity will change. And this is one that I found. So I look at a chemical and also like a uh, financial. Here the, here the difference is that they all look at the more governance practice in the financial area. And then also food, and then also here is a, like a, um, high tech, like a software and telecommunication and semiconductors or something like that here. And then here is oil and gas. So here is the, here is a more, more like interesting in prior in, in climate change in oil and gas. In pharmaceutical and retail. So this is the one actually, uh, what I'm, I'm interested in is how I can get more objective way to this materiality. So here is one hint that uh, this is done by McKinsey. And actually the, uh, they, they uh, involve the third party, like uh, external stakeholders. In this case, it, not completely uh, third party anyway, they are uh, stakeholders. And then, and then here is a company executive and company member. So they have a brainstorming about the determining this materiality. This is the one way. So, so I'm, I'm trying to find out there whether, what kind of the thing that I can, I can develop doing the similar thing for this uh, digital transformation measure. Why? Uh, here is one, uh, the, some good reference that SASB provides a materiality map. So actually this is not uh, from the individual companies like, a, uh, like a ESG reporting, 
but they just uh, have uh, some get information about the individual industry and individual company and then they differentiate by the some this is type of some knowledge map idea so they have some 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 are same and some are some different so because they are more uh, accounting like a uh, focused uh, way to to like uh, uh, categorize them so they are more like uh, financial and the accounting focused one but mine is more innovation and, and more focused on business so so i uh, somewhat different but it's very similar and then and then and then why i care the issue with the current es performance evaluation so so this is a one example the volkswagen you you may know about they cheated about their testing right but the problem is that at, at the year the dow jones sustainability index of uh, this volkswagen was the one of the top so this is a weary right so the, the the reason is that because uh, this uh, evaluation based on all the like uh, existing one not the forward looking so they are backward looking and then so so this this is one one example that the older like es evaluation you, you need to be scrutinized because uh, their objective needs right and then and the how you can use it and then here is another word is a passive gas electric they have the same problem there was a like a uh they evaluate by the like uh, for example number utility incorporated uh, responsive uh, company best uh, one of the corporate decision ranking but anyway they they almost bankrupt because of this uh esd issue so so this is the one example that uh, you need to improve the how to evaluate performance more forward looking and more objective way and then so uh this is my final thought that uh, um I, I told you that this is ongoing. That um, I mean, really interesting in that. What does it mean by forward looking? That based on your existing data base, right? For example, that uh, your your like a digital transformation means that the using AI, blockchain, IoT means that the you digitize, and then you have a data, datafication. So you have a data base can evaluate whatever you have done. So my uh, uh, assumption is that if you can measure this ESC transformation, then they can provide the forward looking on tools. That's my uh, like assumption. So, so um, I, what I really understand is how I can get this uh, ESC uh, digital transformation metrics. What's, what's that and how I can measure it. So this is one, uh, this is my homework. And then I work on whether you are interesting and then and then you can join that. Uh, I, I think that this will be really fantastic if you can get it and then you can disrupt this industry, like all the like uh, ESD matter there, how you can, how you can actually can provide your like a forward looking performance evaluation. And then, and then also like, uh, selecting best in class investment portfolio so you you using this uh uh esd uh digital transformation matrix with the combined with your previous so like materiality evaluation and then it's a really powerful tool can select your best in class uh, this is the one actually i want to do that and then also like uh, it, there will be like because you know technology is a grab it's a standard right it's a it's a the technology is same in everywhere is a global, right? So it's a based on technology and digitization. It will be global. So my uh, guess is that if you can develop the uh, ESDDX metrics, then it can be as a global standard of ES performance evaluation. So this is one actually I want to contribute this ESD community based on my uh, analysis and insight that to develop a further like analyze a further research about the ESD uh, digital transformation and I want to find out there what is the ESDS metrics and then how I can measure it and then I can make uh, this as a tool and make uh, as a tool for the global standard for the ESD performance evaluation that's really what I want to do and then it'll be ongoing and then I will share what I have a good idea and what a good uh, research after this webinar. Okay, so I did uh, just four minutes before that I finished everything I prepared. So 